Beijing, the Australian dollar fell 1% on Thursday as news broke that a major Chinese port had banned imports of Australian coal, fueling fears that diplomatic tensions were hitting Australia's second-largest export. Trade Minister Simon Birmingham told Senate estimates on Thursday night. There was no evidence to support claims the slowdown in coal imports was linked to diplomatic tensions. But he said Australian ambassador to China Jan Adams had escalated her representations to the Chinese government. Dalian Port and Dalian Customs declined to comment to the age in the Sydney Morning Herald after Reuters reported that the port had banned Australian thermal coal imports. Advertisement China has reportedly banned imports of Australian coal through Dalian Port. Credit. Phil Hernebutt reports in China said Dalian Customs had held a meeting and imposed a combined cap of 12 million tons for 2019 on all five harbors in Dalian. The reports on a Chinese steel industry website said only Russian and Indonesian thermal coal would now be imported. Reuters on Thursday cited a Dalian port group official as confirming five harbors overseen by Dalian Customs, Dalian, Baekwon, Panchin, Dandong and Biliang, would not allow Australian coal to be cleared. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Zhang Shuang said, Chinese customs authorities conducted risk monitoring and analysis of imported coal to safeguard the rights and interests of Chinese importers and protect the environment, responding to the Chinese Foreign Ministry comment that customs was undertaking safety inspections on coal, Mr. Birmingham said these ought to be undertaken in as timely manner as possible, the DFAT First Assistant Secretary for North Asia, Graham Fletcher, said. There had been a period of similarity last year when there was a go-slow measure at customs docks to limit coal imports from other countries, but Australian coal exports to China rose 9%. He said it was a very serious issue that was impacting the Australian currency. Trade Minister Simon Birmingham said, China is a valued partner of Australia and we trust that our free trade agreement commitments to each other will continue to be honoured, he said. China is the second biggest destination for Australian thermal coal, and Australia is the second largest thermal coal exporter worldwide after Indonesia. An Australian mining analyst said the decision had been brewing for some time before, it was just metallurgical or coking coal but now it's been extended to thermal coal, he said, it is understood there have already been high-level conversations between the Australian and Chinese governments. These conversations are delicately poised right now, this seems to be an escalation of what is already happening between China and Australia. They've singled out only Australian coal. Mine life analyst Gavin Went and other analysts said that BHP may be exposed to this, with some of their coal going through that port. Diplomatic relations between China and Australia have been relatively smooth in recent months, after a meeting of foreign ministers late last year healed a rift that had prevented any official visits for months. But Chinese media has in recent weeks hit out at the Five Eyes intelligence allies over Washington and Canberra decision to ban Chinese telecommunications company Huawei from 5G networks. Mine Life analyst Gavin Went said, This seems to be an escalation of what is already happening between China and Australia, they've singled out only Australian coal. One has to interpret it as having to do with the icy political relationship between Australia and China. Trade Minister Simon Birmingham is seeking urgent advice on the reported ban. Credit Dominic Laurie Mara Media Digest published by the Xinhua State News Agency on Thursday repeated a Reuters story about rumors of delays for Australian coal imports under the headline, Can't Even Sell Coal to China. Chinese industry website Coal Industry Net reported that import restrictions on Australian coking coal had been extended in some parts of China in late January, but no official statement has been issued. Informed sources have said that on the afternoon of January 29th, several ports in northeastern China, including the Baekwon, Dandong Port and Dalian Port, imposed restrictions on coke and coal imports. Authorities conducted risk monitoring of imported coal to safeguard the rights of Chinese importers and protect the environment. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Zhang Shuang, three Chinese steel mills have confirmed that they have received verbal notices from customs at northeast ports regarding the import restrictions. On coking coal, the Chinese website said. A Chinese trader said it would definitely affect the buying sentiment of high ash thermal coal from Newcastle Port. The Department of Science and Industry had forecast in December that China would have declining demand for thermal coal in 2019. but that Australian export earnings would continue to soar on rising prices, from $23 billion to $26 billion. 
One Australian coal miner said while they are being kept in the dark by the port, this situation frequently occurs. Dalian isn't talking to Australian producers about this. They don't explain it, which is very Chinese, he said. They usually put these in place to allow domestic operators time to shine and build them up by pressuring Australian producers. These Australian producers then take a $5 to $10 a ton hit for the next few months until they lift them again. When asked if it may be in retaliation for Huawei, he said he was not hearing that it was politically driven and was a fairly normal course of action at Dalian. But independent South Australian Senator Rex Patrick said, it's not unusual for China to act in that manner on a state-to-state -state front whenever they're unhappy, the executive director of Australian Strategic Policy Institute Peter Jennings said, this is a deliberate shot across the bows. It's a pattern we've seen China apply to a number of countries over the years, it's designed to keep Australia on edge about our decision concerning Chinese investment or its inclusion in our 5G network, BHP Chief Executive Andrew McKenzie on Tuesday acknowledged that delays for coal importers unloading in China had more than doubled from 22. 45 days, but he said, all suppliers are facing that, he said the cause was China moderating imports versus domestic coal production, I don't believe for one moment this is linked to some of the higher level issues of relationships between China and the rest of the world, and including with us, there had been reports earlier this month of queues of ships off numerous Chinese ports facing delays to unload coal as China sought to boost domestic coal prices. It had also been reported that only Australian coal faced customs delays. Kirsty Needham is China correspondent for the Sydney Morning Herald and The Age. Covering energy and policy at Fairfax Media. Most viewed in world let's block ads. Why?